Hey, hey everybody, I'm out here in the garden. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of my age reversal protocols. A lot of people have been asking me about it. So I'm gonna start posting it on my fan page on Facebook, my personal page on Facebook, and also on my YouTube channel, Zach Nasser Celebrity Fasting Coach. So what I wanna talk about is the sirtuins and Dr. David Sinclair. Dr. David Sinclair was able to reverse the aging of rats using these, basically a type of gene therapy that activated these genes called sirtuins. So sirtuins silence certain genes that should not be activated and activate certain genes that should be activated. So all of your cells have the same DNA in them, but some of them become skin cells, brain cells, muscle cells, bone cells, etc. So what happens as we age, one of the things that they saw is that they would be expressing skin cell genes in the brain and liver cells would be expressing muscle cell genes. And what he found out is that the sirtuins that silence some of these genes and turn on other genes are a part of the epigenome that a lot of people don't tap into anymore to be able to um, activate these healing mechanisms in the mitochondria and the DNA to basically help the cells remember their identity to function properly. So they were able to cure blindness in rats and regenerate the optic nerve using this gene therapy, which is pretty mind blowing. Now this won't be available for many years and will probably be very expensive, but there are things that you can do to activate these genes within yourself. Okay, so um, one of the things is fasting. Another one is exercise. Another one is heat exposure. Another one is cold exposure. And then another one is xenohormetics. So what is xenohormetics? That's the fifth one. Um, xenohormetics are things that we eat externally, foreign compounds that we eat that trick our body into thinking hormesis is happening. So typically hormesis is like I do exercise or fasting or a sauna or a cold bath and that stress has a positive effect on our bodies. So there are certain compounds like resveratrol in wine or red grapes that are released whenever they don't get enough water. This is why wild or other stressors, wild blueberries also have a lot of these pigments in them. And when you stress them out more, they create more of those pigments. So for example, when we're making red wine, you want to give the grapes no water for a certain period of time before you harvest them because they're gonna create more of those pigments. So when we eat these, our body thinks, oh man, we're going into a stress state there's going to be a famine, there's going to be a drought, we better tighten up our belt and make this function, make our body function a lot more efficiently so that we can get through these hard times. Okay, so most of the time we're in air conditioner or heater. Most of the time we have plenty of food or at least enough food because we can get a lot of calories for very cheap now. Uh, and a lot of times we don't exercise where if we do it's not that strenuous. So this is the other part. There's the missing piece of the equation because the sirtuins are very important, but what if you say, oh, I exercise and do sauna and exercise and I'm not slowing down my aging. That's because the fuel for these genes, sirtuins, is called NAD+, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. As we get older, it slows down, and in our skin, we can lose up to 50% of our NAD. So I put NAD+, plus on my skin, and I put... Um, I put uh, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, which is a direct precursor to NAD, and NR, which is nicotinamide riboside, which is another precursor. So if you want to know the products, I do a face cream by Renew by Science and then a body lotion, Renew by Science. I also take NMN as a precursor for NAD plus in the morning um, with resveratrol and quercetin and other xenohormetics together, okay? so. Um, another thing in olive oil, not only the polyphenols, but the oleic acid, the omega-9, also activates the xenohormetic pathway. So I'll tend to take olive oil, my resveratrol, red wine extract, quercetin, EGCG from green tea. I'll take that all together with some bioparine, some black pepper extract to absorb this, um, to absorb all of that stuff and to have the NMN with it to stimulate the sirtuins. And then I fast, then I exercise, and do heat exposure, cold exposure, that kind of thing. So right now I'm doing a two day fast um, with just basically just electrolytes uh, and water. And I've done some cold exposure. My exercise is just gonna be walking only, maybe a little bit of yoga. Um, and then I've been putting the, the NAD precursors on my skin. So that's what I'm doing for today. But so NAD slash NAD precursors and then the five xenohormetic stressors. So that's exercise, fasting, cold exposure, uh, heat exposure, 
and xenohormetics like resveratrol and quercetin. So that's the basic rundown of it. There's a lot more that I'm doing, like I'm using Whoop to track my progress and my sleep and recovery and things like that, which I highly recommend. I'll get more into that on other things. I'm also doing some other anti-aging supplements and technologies to help regenerate collagen in the skin, in the joints, um, in my gums. Um, all kinds of things. Yeah, my teeth have been getting a little better and I'm looking for some new whitening stuff. I'll talk to you soon.